hey guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl nikita if you guys are new here please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe guys share out the video and just let other people know about my channel guys i'm going to get my subscribers up and just get the content out guys for those of you that need it and or just enjoy watching my videos um so here you can see that i am doubling my tracks i am going to be doing a salt and pepper sewing here in this uh, vlog and I'm just giving you guys just some insight on how I combine my tracks just to make the install easier okay guys I also make um, units by the sewing machine if you guys are wondering and if you guys also new here I have a beauty studio up in Williamsburg in Brooklyn uh, and it's you can follow me on Instagram at the dot bay bar all right so here guys, I did my sew down. Um, I should be showing you here shortly. Uh, I angled the tracks, you can see that around the perimeter and close to my center part where I'm gonna be doing my leave out that way. It kind of helps me angle and secure down the corner piece of my install. So here you guys see I'm showing that to you. And in the back, I also always do one just going right across just to help lay it down flat and make sure I I'm um, able to get the most seamless install. All right, guys. So I dyed my bundles that you see here on the wall that I provide jet black. My hair is also jet black. I kind of maintain my hair at the jet black. Um, so I just got on the sewing machine and I combined the blondes of the 613 with that. And as you can see here, I'm just gonna sew down the perimeter. I always sew down the perimeter of my installs like this anytime I do a sewing because it just helps make it seamless as far as if you wanna do like an updo and to just help blend the leave out that way you can minimize the amount of leave out that is out. All right guys, so you can just watch with that and then I'll come back in the rest of the video uh, and I'll touch back with you guys, enjoy. Hey guys, so I'm back. You can see now I kind of sped this up. I just wanted you guys to notice here um, just the way that I'm laying the track. So you just want to go in a U pattern and then once you went out of space in the front, you want to have at least three to four tracks going in that U pattern and then once you get um, close to each other in the back, then you're going to go across horizontally. All right, that way it's going to help make sure that you lay down the foundation of the bundles and you'll see here in a few how it's going to lay down, okay? So the last, the very last track I'm going to do right around this perimeter and you're going to see why it is that I angle my braids up at the center part um, because it helps just get the sew down 
nice and flat guys all right so let's just take a minute to look you can see here nice and slow for you guys look at that right up to the part right up to where the part is touching all right so that's gonna and you see how the very front how the blonde and the black is angled that's how you want it to look guys all right and then i'm just gonna you're gonna see i'm brushing out the hair and then i'm just gonna go in and give it a blunt cut at the end i'm gonna layer the front and then you guys are going to see me curling it up so from this point you guys enjoy and then also to make the sew in as flat as possible because i did not you can do two things you can flat iron the bundles at the weft to create like a more flat sew down but if not if that's just like too time consuming um you what i'm gonna show you guys later on is you're gonna use um just a wax stick the same way you would do bundles or a wig use a wax stick and a hot comb and just press down the wefts of the hair all right so you guys will see that later on look at that blunt cut awesome and then i'm just gonna do the front angle it just to frame my face and give the curls some body all right, so enjoy the vlog, guys.
Rebag, the way luxury resale should be. A curated selection of I'm outside in a damn jeep, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas proud me, I did it, guy, gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by, I'm outside. I believe that all of your dreams are duration. You took my heart, all my keys, and my passion. You took my heart, all my sleep, a decoration. You must take my love, I brought for you my foundation. All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never had. Something that you never seen. Something that you never been. Mm -hmm. But I wake up and I nothing's wrong. Just get ready for work, 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 work. To me, I'll be working. Hey guys, so I'm back. So this is what I was talking about earlier. You just want to get a wax stick um, and then I also used the wow and I sprayed it on. You want to use the wax stick and just that that's just the same reason why you use it on a wig. You want to use it here on low settings. Okay, so on your natural hair, you don't need to go above anything like 325. All right, and the only steam you guys are seeing is from the wax. Okay, a single pass single pass all right and you just want to press out I had I think I had about half an inch leave out around the perimeters just enough to cover um, under and to do like an updo all right and then I just had a little bit at the nape in the back okay so you see that's getting pretty flat and seamless there's no reason to be going over and over and over the press um, but yeah guys this is how I maintain the flatness of my hair and my install all right um yeah enjoy from here Yeah. Yeah. Hey, feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on his head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who no those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery. It's just annoying me And I'm too about it In the dirt, bitch, they too On my name, turn to soil And I grew up about it Time for y'all to figure out What y'all gon' do about it Big wheels keep rolling, rolling I'm outside 29 G5 Seaside I've been losing friends and finding peace But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me If I ever heard one And I'm still here Outside Frontline Southside, I've been 
looking back, it's hard to tell you where I started. I don't know who loved me, but I know that it ain't everybody. I can never love her, she a busybody. Baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody. Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody. Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it. Yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it. Yeah, mama used to be on disability, but gave me this ability. And now she walking with her head high and her back straight. I don't think you're feeling me, I'm out here being everything they said I wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. I don't know what happened to them guys that said they would be. I said, see you at the top and they misunderstood me. I hold no resentment in my heart, that's that maturity. And we don't keep it on us anymore. It's with I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. If I ever heard one, then I'm still here. Outside, front line, south side. I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. Hanging out this weekend, so going to sax.com. <laughs>
Hey guys, so I'm back. This should be the last time, um, but you can see here that I am going in and styling my perimeter, my baby hairs, and I just want you guys to see that you don't need a frontal in order to get this look. I know a lot of people are like, the baby hairs that people do on frontals are not realistic and stuff like that. Yes, you can get the same effect with your natural hair, um, and you can see what I'm doing here. So for the your temples and your forehead, you want to curl it under with the pencil curling iron. And for your sideburns, you want to cut curl it downwards. All right. And then what I do is I just get some um, hairspray, some molding spray. So here I'm using the Eben. I just spray it on my finger and I only press it down on the base of my baby hairs, not on the part that's curled. All right. And that's just to give it like a just to lay it down so it, it just stays. Again, I'm spraying it on my finger and just pressing in the base and using uh, my edge brush to just swoop in the curl that I made. All right. And then I'm just going to tie it down with a paper wrap and then curl up the rest of the hair. Um, and then you guys will see the rest. All right. See you later.
Word on the street, I'm a suspect. Hanging with the killers in the projects. Tato on the barrel, keep quiet. Catch a nigga slipping from behind. OG, Bobby, Josh. OG, Bobby, Josh. OG, Bobby, Josh. OG, Bobby, Josh. Shit ain't all bad. 
guys if you have not realized already all of my installs are seamless you can see how that little bit of leave out has allowed me to be able to put this hair into an updo you see I'm doing a ponytail um, my nape is out I did not flat iron the back I just did one pass with the with the uh, pressing comb I did not flat iron the back you can see how layering the hair you see how the curls are just laying into place that is the importance even though some people don't like chopping the hair or their bundles and stuff um this is the reason why you see how the curls are just kind of flowing into each other that's the kind of look that you want look at how seamless the back is i can put this ponytail as high as i want to and you're not going to see the tracks that's also the reason why i sew down that first track the way that i do look at that take it all in guys if you're in the tri-state area please do not forget to reach out um, bookings are usually open uh, the month before or otherwise i will announce the booking schedule um yeah and just stay tuned follow the page the dot bay bar get into this guys look at how this is falling my leave out is blending effortlessly let's get these baby hairs Ooh. 
It's giving frontal. It's giving frontal. Okay. Let's look at the other side. And for those of you that may not believe, let's do like a little tug test. It's coming in. Look at that. Look at that. Tug, tug, tug. That is my scalp. That is not a frontal. You see my scalp moving? That's my scalp, and this is a leave out. You see, very minimal, minimal leave out. About a half an inch or less is what I said. Alright, guys, now enjoy, enjoy, enjoy while I show you different ways to style this sew in. And yeah, if you not have done so already, please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's run up the subscribers, guys. Share out this video. Look at this half up and half down. Thank you guys so much for supporting. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Yeah.